Jackson, also you can notice that there is the Star Breeze uh, from the uh, Windstar uh, ship, it's in the uh, Horizon also. And uh, that is the entrance of the Panama Canal in the Pacific side. As we are, where we're going to have lunch, we're going to have lunch on one of the three islands that is uh, over there in the far, far end of the entrance of the canal. So you will be able to appreciate a little bit more of the uh, of the complexity of the construction of the Panama Canal, specifically in the Pacific side. As you notice, the, the tide is it is coming in. We can notice only by the uh, the the wave that the tide is coming in. So it's going to be, if you notice, on the high riser of the of the wall to the right, that's how high it's going to be in, in the tide. Okay. So it depends on all the angles and where the perception of what you see is the entrance of, uh, of the tide how much it goes up. So, the entrance of the canal, as per, like I mentioned before earlier, on the horizon we see ships that are specifically more bunker ships or grain ships that are waiting for their cargo to be sold in the, what would be known as the NASDAQ common stock. And uh, we can see some others very specific uh, ships as we get closer and closer you know we're going to notice one that is like an enormous box that is a called a called a row row which is a roll on roll off ship for our cars those ships can actually car take about five thousand cars in them as we enter into the city the city of panama urbanizes uh, itself beginning from 1955. Uh, it's very interesting the history of the city itself because all what you see right now where the, the building there was nothing there. All of that is landfill. Uh, this was an enormous U.S. military base uh, in Italy, an outpost during the Second War. And uh, we can see the Donald Trump Ocean View building which is the one that is arched inwards that is the tallest residential building of all Latin America the one with the and the property value in there uh, to the left is approximately $5,000 per square meter <coughs> okay. and then to the right hand side you can see this community that has been there since the 1600s that was a fishing community it's still a fishing community and uh, it's, uh, we've been able to keep it there because of the historical value and also the value of the property and not only within the the communities that we have here in Panama uh, we do have a lot of private hospitals so uh, within private hospitals in Panama we have uh, the world we now know John Hopkins International Hospital is also a university. Okay, and very shortly towards the right hand side, you're going to notice some of the most emblematic buildings within the banking district of the uh, of Panama. It's the third largest banking district in the world. Over 128 banks are represented. Over 65% offshore banking. We have the FF building to the left, to the right. Sorry. Behind that, that's the HSBC headquarters for Central and South America. Behind also the Tower Bank, the City Bank, and so many other banks. Uh, to the left hand side within this whole residential area uh, we do have a very interesting mixture of all different communities so within the Hebrew community and the Muslim community we have the largest amount of synagogues and mosques per block of all of Central America and inside there we also have is the largest kosher supermarket outside of Israel Besides the fact that we have the blend of all communities, shopping centers have become a new thing in Panama. We have five several design shopping centers in the city itself. That means that we have from the longest 
the biggest, tallest, the uh, uh, most expensive shopping center. So besides coming to visit the Panama Canal or the city of Panama shopping is one of our number one tours uh, that is sold in Panama. Especially since you have an uh, opening the venue for those uh, from South America that do not want to travel up north and so on. So, and like I mentioned, within the banking district, residential areas, a lot of the city has changed during the past 12 years. So, if we take into consideration of all the tall buildings that you are seeing, uh, over 65% were built during the past 12 years. And we can say in a very strong word that 99% uh, of all the tall buildings are residential. So in the manifest of not only the banking and office buildings, which is almost 1%, uh, the rest all being residential definitely, that the pool on real estate is still going on in Panama. We still have a very large amount of construction being done and already pre-sold before inventory or before blueprint. Now, definitely that the city needed to expand, so everything that we see to the left hand side, my left, uh, that means that all of that is all landfill. They've uh, been just acquired uh, with the construction of the new set of locks at the Panama Canal. Uh, they took all of the rock and the landfill this whole area so the city now is a little bit wider and uh, people are able to you know like you see walk their dogs i don't know what why do they have this side here it's just me in a tropical country but either way to each is up very crazy person. So, we have Le Meridian from the Luxury Collection Hotels, the Intercontinental uh, Hotel right over here. Within also, not only the banking district we also have is the nerve center of the downtown area of the hotels uh, and collections of hotels that we have here. Uh, when you were seen at the cathedral, the reason why we couldn't go into the cathedral is because they were getting ready for a wedding. It's going to be a very nice wedding. Uh, it's going to be on the 31st on, uh, at night, so that means that they're getting married uh, from the 31st to the 1st, so they're going to party with New Year's. Uh, so, to bring in money for the uh, for the for the the whole complex of old Panama, we rent out these old churches, and uh, that's about uh, ten thousand dollars for just the whole rental, not including all the things that they add on to the one. Uh, because 
terms of the understanding that definitely the gold and silver crossing from ocean to ocean was very important. Uh, definitely that uh, 